Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at what we mean by a grouped frequency distribution as opposed to a non-grouped frequency distribution which we saw in the previous video. Notice we are now given 25 grades, but they're the point grades, not the letter grades, and so we're going to group them in ranges of 10 from 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and so forth. So let's first tally them up by each range of grades and then we'll see for each range how many there are. In other words, we're, going, we're then going to look at the frequency of each grouped range. So let's take a look here. Uh, when we have the number 60, that falls in this group, so we'll put a line there. 72, put a line there. 90, 95, and you see we do the same pattern as before, but now we have to group them in a particular group. 77, 97, 58, 85, 72, 80, second row here, 47, 67, 77, 74, so that's our fifth one in that group, then so we put a line there, 39, 70, 78, 82, 86, 91, 82, that's our fifth one in that group, so we put a line this way, 66, 86, 72, and 90, that's our fifth one in that group, so we'll put a line through there. So now notice our frequency for this group is 1, for this group is 1, for that group, 1, for the next group, 3, here we have 8, there we have 6, and there we have 5. So you can see your frequency distribution for these grouped sets of data. And that's the difference between grouped frequency distribution and non-grouped frequency distribution. In non-grouped, we have a one-to-one -one correspondence between a data type and a frequency. Here we have to group a bunch of data together into a single group and then see what the frequency of the distribution is of those groups, of those groups, not group, but groups. All right, that is the difference between the two.